ready? All right, today we are talking about the Insta360 Invisible Dive Case. And what does it do? It makes it so we can do 360 underwater. <laughs> Good job, babe. There have been other dive cases for 360 cameras in the past, but this one, this one does something very specific that no other dive case has ever been able to do. Uh, watch, watch us swim around and tell me if you can figure out what is so special about this case. I'll, I'll tell you at the end of it. You ready to go swimming? Yeah. Okay, let's go swimming. Let's go see our shoes gonna off. go swimming. You're gonna go, okay, go swimming. <laughs> I just got pee. What? <laughs> Every time when I'm in swimming pools, I got pee. You pee in the pool? Yeah. All right, don't tell Grammy and Papa though. <laughs> Big secret. <laughs> You touched the bottom of the pool? Yeah. That was awesome. Thank you. Did you figure out what makes this case so special? If not, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute here. But first up, why, why do we need a dive case on a waterproof 360 camera? Well, because this is a 360 camera, it's actually shooting out of two lenses. So this lens shooting that way, this lens shooting that way, shoots 180 degrees, or a little bit more actually, and then it stitches those two together into a 360 world that you can look around in in post. A very clever trick, but the problem comes when you take this camera, even though it's waterproof, and you bring it underwater. Because of how light refracts underwater, suddenly, just the camera alone, it can no longer stitch those two images together. But in the past, we bring in a dive case and suddenly you, you kind of give it like this bubble and now the camera's in there like a, like a little scuba diver underwater in his own little his own little bubble helmet. And with that protective bubble of plastic around it, now the camera can see those images clearly, the light doesn't refract in the same way, and it can stitch underwater. But there was one thing that, that these dive cases could never do, and it's because like, Look at this giant hunk of plastic that was on there. It could never, could never do the cool invisible selfie stick trick. Which for me is the main reason that I love the X3. This is my favorite action camera by far because I like to be the one skateboarding or snowboarding, whatever I'm doing, if I'm doing the action, I can use this to film myself I don't have to really worry about the camera too much. It's 360, so as long as I have it out there, I can see the camera, it can see me, and the pole is not in the shot. Pretty much every other action camera you use is always like a always like a big pole coming out of the shot. Like in your shot, there's just this big black line, but in 360 footage, there's no pole. But again, we weren't able to get that underwater, and now we can. And how it does it is, it's so dang clever. Take a closer look at this case. Can you see how there's a bit of like woo woo when you look at those bubbles? That's because they're not just bubbles. They're actually lenses that are extending the wide angle of the camera lens into that bubble itself. On previous cases, that literally was just a plastic bubble and now it's actually a lens. Okay, you can see the camera is in there and the camera is not thicker than this piece. Like the lens does not actually protrude into this lens, but look at it sideways. It looks like the lens is popping up into the bubble on both sides, even though it's not. Again, it is an actual lens that is helping to refract light. And even though we have this big old plastic case on there, it can now do that same reframing where it cuts that out, cuts that out, and you don't have a stick in your underwater shot. Also notable on this case is two buttons on the side right there. We have two buttons right there that line up with the two buttons inside. And with this camera, you're actually gonna slide down from the top in the settings and you're gonna go into dive case mode. And when in dive case mode, that top button becomes a mode selector where you can cycle through your different modes. And then the bottom button, normally the, the quick select button, you tap that once really quickly, it becomes a record button. 
tap it again and it stops recording. So even while you're underwater, if you're scuba diving, this thing, by the way, makes it so that this camera is waterproof down to 50 meters. So pretty much however deep you are scuba diving, you can have this with you and you can cycle through your different modes while underwater, stop and start recording while underwater. I just got this thing a couple of days ago and the best way to, to demonstrate this to you was in a pool because it's so nice and clear, but I would love to take this thing to like Hawaii or Cancun and go scuba diving and have like turtles or fish around you and just being able to kind of just hold this thing out in front of you and and look around and not have to pay so much attention to the camera or where you're pointing it and get a truly 360 invisible selfie stick underwater experience. Now as for price, they are selling this separately for $99. You can get just the dive case. So if you already have an X3, you already have your own selfie stick, you already have your own rubber lens cap, you can just pick up just the case itself, just the dive case, $99. And this bit also comes with a very nice carrying case because boy, you are gonna wanna be protective of these lenses. So it comes with that nice bag. It comes with some anti-fog inserts. If you are diving a little bit deeper, there's a chance of getting moisture inside of that case and these will prevent the moisture. It also comes with a, a little wrench to be able to tighten it down nice and strong. And that is all in the invisible dive case for $100, but they are selling this whole thing as a kit where you get the X3, you get the dive case, you get a rubber lens guard, you get the invisible selfie stick, and you a floating handle, which I, I didn't get my hands on, but you get this whole kit for $570. So if, if you have nothing, if you're a, a scuba diver or a snorkeler or a free diver, and you're like, I wanna film underwater invisible selfie stick shots, and I have nothing right now, uh, for 570, you get the whole kit at once. But are you a free diver or snorkeler or scuba diver and, and this is something that interests you? Give me your comments, your questions down below. I will get those answered and uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna play with this thing in the pool a lot. One of the things that we did was I put it on the, the Insta360 tripod like this. Hang on. I just put this on the bottom of the pool and I let it sit there like that. And me and Eleanor just kept swimming down to it and she was waving at it and doing different things. And that's a cool use too, is just being able to have this thing for like, I don't know, just a bunch of people being able to swim around it. Invisible selfie stick. Underwater edition. <laughs> uh, questions, comments down below. I will see you soon. Hopefully, hopefully we go to Cancun or Hawaii soon and I can really show that like, it would be so rad to be like swimming with turtles or swimming with dolphins like we've done in the past. But this time, like I could be in the shot because it, again, invisible selfie stick. All right, I'll see you soon. We are talking about the brand new invisible selfie stick. Oh, yeah. not invisible selfie stick. I messed up. I said the wrong thing. Oh. Okay, start again. Let's go. We got, we're going to tell one more time. One more time.